you are setting out on an extraordinary odyssey to answer the highest of all calls. How do you handle it when you fall in love with somebody? I wouldn't. I said when. Right. Thank you. That's Trinity's Triumph, a film decades in the making. It stars the brilliant Emmy Award winning actor Joe Morton. And of course, he has quite the resume with film projects such as Zack Snyder's Justice League, mm -hmm. Speed, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Oh my gosh, his TV shows include Scandal, Eureka, God Friended Me, and this Tony nominee's theater credits also quite impressive. So please welcome back New York's very own Mr. Joe Morton. Good to see you. Nice to be here. Okay, so this is impressive. The film's tri Trinity's Triumph, written by Father Stephen Fector, right? Yes. To really give people this behind-the-scenes lo look at life in the priesthood. So right. tell us a little bit about the story and maybe what you kind of garnered from this but somebody may not know. So about 10 or 15 years ago, Father Stephen was in Rome uh, in a seminary and decided that what he was going through he'd never seen in any film, but th that is how to become a priest. Okay. So he wrote a piece uh, with one man and with one sort of lead and then he took it to Zeffirelli and Zeffirelli said, this is a great idea, I love this, you should do it with three men. So, this, so basically the, the film is about three young men, three close friends who all decide to become priests and then have to deal with all of the things that, w in terms of what that means. Um, they have to deal with celibacy, they have to deal with self-worth, they have to deal with, of course, sexual abuse in, in the Catholic yeah. Church. And at the same time, try to inhabit all of the things that make the DNA of a good priest, which is truth, integrity, tolerance, and friendship. Mm. Wow. Tell us about your character, Monsignor Gregory Heck. Right. Monsignor is their mentor, mm -hmm. their teacher, mm -hmm. um, and he is the one who kind of tries to guide them through all of their yeah. difficulties. I mean, I think the thing that that happens with, I'm sure, very young, many young men is that you decide to become a priest and suddenly you realize it's not as easy as you thought it might be. Yeah. That, that for all of your dedication to the religion, that suddenly, uh, at one point, he says to them, "So, what are you going to do? You know, when you fall in love." and you're a priest, and then one, one character says, well, that'll never happen. He says, no, 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 you have to understand, this will happen. And so that's a lot of what this film is about, how to overcome all the things that, yeah. it's like, I, in many ways, like becoming a policeman or becoming you know, a politician. You, know, you, you want to go the, the straight and narrow, but every, all kinds of things happen. Yeah, it's like right it's like, out of the Bible. It's like the poison apple is there kind of dangling. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Temptation is always temptation there. Temptation is always right there, you know? So if, it took Father Stephen uh, a decade yes. to write this. What took so long to, to get it all right? I think because he, well, a couple of things. Uh, one, with the sexual abuse, I think was not something he wanted originally to have in the film, but because yeah. it was so much part of the church and also because I think he wanted to make sure that people understand that the church was really upset about it once they started to deal with it. So mm -hmm. he, he knew he had to make that part of it. Yeah. And then I think just trying to make it as personal as mm. possible for these three young men. So they're all, they're all different. Um, they have different, one is academic, one uh, is, has to deal with self-worth. Mm -hmm. um, so, so all of them have these struggles and have to learn how to tolerate both their successes and their failures with each other. Yeah. Wow. Right. So it's it's like a coming of age story. There's you know learning how to truly be devoted, how to be intentional in everything that you you do. What did you take away from this film? I think that you know the the three the four things that I said before about truth, integrity, tolerance, and friendship are the things that that uh, Monsignor Heck teaches to all of his students. Mm -hmm. And I think that to me was the core of the film. That I think no matter what you're what you're pursuing in your life, those things have to be true. Yeah. That you have to sort of follow things in not only truth with other people but with yourself. Mm -hmm. um, make decisions that have integrity. Mm -hmm. Be tolerant of all kinds of things, mm -hmm. especially in this world. And then friendship is a is a hard thing to sort of hold on to. Yeah. You know, we we travel all the time, we do yeah. all this kind of stuff, and so holding on to good friends, understanding what that means, I think to me was was very important. I'm fascinated mm -hmm. by this. I'm a yeah. child of. Catholic education, Same. you know, was an altar boy. So I'm curious to see this kind of behind the scenes. So was I. Yeah. I was an altar boy. I went to a Catholic military school, wow, which sounds okay. redundant, but there you go. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about some of the other things going on in your life right now, because I know we always mention Scandal because it's right. such a huge show that was out there. But you recently were on the red carpet, or a red carpet, with your old castmates. We have some of the images here, um, uh. and so it seems like you guys are as close as ever. 
We are. Um, little, maybe there a little a reunion? Group. Well, that actually was, um, Scott Foley was in um, uh, a play called Thanksgiving Day, yeah. uh, which was fantastic. Great show. He, he was yeah. hysterical in it. So whenever we have an opportunity to get together to sort of hang out, we will. Yeah. I mean, we're kind of all over the place. I think some of them are in Connecticut, uh, some are in California, obviously, in, in New Jersey. Yeah. But there was a group chat that we do all the time. So we're always in, um, you know, in constant contact. Um, yeah. uh, Carrie has a new book, uh, Thicker yeah. Than Water. Yes. So I went to her opening. And so it's, you know, it's, it's, it's always that it's person family. in the group chat, right, that doesn't answer. <laughs> yeah. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Well, you know what the thing is. The thing is, I think with group chats, everybody thinks they're supposed to respond right away. Right. And right. You have to, people are busy, so you have to sort of give them a little slack. You know. Yes. You, 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 get, later, you, you get the answer. I'm like, what were you hey. talking about? No, because a lot of us will say, listen, I'm sorry, I missed this. Yeah, but here, yeah. blah 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 blah. <laughs> right, you know, right. Life is busy. Yeah. 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 Mr. Morton, what what is next for you? Well, there's a, a lot of things kind of bubbling up. Yeah. I can't, can't really go into any detail, but um, uh, one is a Broadway play, yes. which I, looks like I'll be directing. Another is a film that we're going to shoot in the Philippines, which looks like I'll be directing. Great. Um, and then there is a, the talk of doing a series called Divine City, mm -hmm. uh, which will take place in Washington, D.C. during the 80s, and uh, I'll be playing Marion Barry. Wow. Fantastic. You know, whatever it is, we will be watching. And come on back. If you're doing yes. a show here in New York, we're happy to talk about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Right? Mr. Morton, thank you so much. Pleasure, pleasure. meeting you. Thank and you, Trinity's Triumph you. now available on Amazon, Apple, Vudu, Google, Microsoft, Comcast, Spectrum, DirecTV, Dish, and Fios. Everywhere. Woo! Right. Everywhere. And if you have any Watch problems it. finding it, you can go to, to trinitystriumph.com. There, there you go. go.